But first, we are tracking Tropical Storm Beta. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Devin Bartolotta. Yesterday, three new storms were named in the tropics, moving us into the Greek alphabet. So let's get a quick check on your weather with your local weather expert, meteorologist Alexandra Cranford. So much to watch, it seems, Alexandra. It never stops. Everyone's sick of it. I know everyone's like, no more tropical stuff. We don't want it, I know. But today's rain, of course, was associated with Tropical Storm Beta, which is hovering south of the kind of central Louisiana coast. And notice a few things. It is still bringing rain to southeast Louisiana, and we can hear it right here in New Orleans. But we're not seeing as many thunderstorms right around the center at this point. Those have kind of died down, so we will see. But it does look like that wind shear that has been directing a lot of the cloud cover and the showers toward us is continuing. And we will see whether it uh, continues to weaken it or whether the dry air continues to weaken it as well. Here is the forecast path, and I do want to show you this in a little bit of detail here. This is new, a tropical storm beta's path all the way through Tuesday early morning. Notice that it is probably going to get we've been saying close to the Texas coast, but look at the new track. It brings it way inland, a little farther inland than it had even earlier today and even earlier this afternoon. So it now has it maybe as a rapidly weakening tropical storm somewhere to the west or southwest of Houston by Tuesday. And then that could be a good thing because it means that it would be a much weakened system as soon as really it moves over land. These tropical systems, of course, tend to decrease in intensity after that happens. And they're not over warm water anymore. So notice that by Wednesday evening, it might just be a low pressure area depression, and then it might further weaken as it moves to North Louisiana as we get into Thursday. Now at this point, it will still likely be bringing us rain because there will be showers and moisture wrapping around the system, but it is good to see that it, it does look like it might be weakening a bit earlier and also know that the official forecast no longer calls for it to become a hurricane and actually doesn't even have any additional strengthening to where it is right now. In a few minutes, I'll be back. We'll go much more in detail and have uh, details on what to expect as you make plans for this week because it will probably continue rainy.